Hey, this is Sarah from the Tidio team. Today, I would like to show you how to start with our chatbots editor. To enter a chatbots editor, click on the bots icon on the left. Now, you can edit one of the chosen bots templates or create a bot from scratch. The main idea behind building the bots is to create maps that show the chat what to do exactly and when. Those maps consist of three icon types that we call nodes at Tidio. Triggers, telling the bot when to start, actions, telling the bot what to do, and conditions, to filter out what should be done. Triggers are divided into three categories. Launch by visitors, launch by operators, and by clicking the buttons or typing with the bot. Some triggers might be repetitive. You can find an option to limit them and decide how many times they should be fired per person. Once you set up the trigger, you need to define what should be the next step in the bot. You will need to add an action that will do something in the chat, like for example, send a message to the visitor. Since it is a map, you need to connect the icons, and the connection needs to be done in an orderly manner. You need to tell the chat where should it go next. If you will try to connect it the other way around, you will see an error message, as this is the logic failure. The map just can go backward. Sometimes, you might need to branch out the bot. So, before sending an action, you need to check something, like for example, whether the visitor provided the name. Now, you can do it just by pulling another line from the trigger, as when you stand at the crossroad, you cannot go left and right at the same time. You will need to add a condition that will check if something is set on the visitor, like for example, a name. Conditions branch out to two paths. If the condition is met, you can select a yes or no path. In this case, we are checking if the visitor provided the name. Now, let's pull a no path from the condition. If there was no name provided by the visitor, the bot will ask a question about the name. We need to set the validation as a name. And since the visitor is providing the detail, we need to save it also as a contact property. We want to save the contact property as a name. And if the visitor provided the name before, let's just send the message. So let's pull a yes path from the condition. We can also add the name to the message as the bot allows you to add the contact properties that you saved. Now, let's make sure the whole map is ready so we can test the bot. Click on the Tested Out button and a new window with a testing bot will show up. As you can see, the bot is asking about our name, as we haven't given it before. I tap in my name and you can see a welcome message sent with my name included. The last step is to save the bot. Click on the green Save button in the upper right corner. Provide the name of the bot and your goal so in the future we can provide better bot recommendations adjusted to your needs. Awesome, your bot is now ready. 
You can find your bot anytime in the My Chatbot section. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to check our website and more resources on our help center. Till the next video!